Hello everyone, on this session I'm going to show you how to install our Oracle Sample Schema. If you are willing to practice SQL, build some Oracle applications, or you are going to have self-study learning, then you have to install these samples on your database in order to get the test lab for your learning plan. Actually, we are going to install these sample schemas on this session, Human Resource, Order Entry, Product Media, Sales History, Information Exchange. So let's get started. And step number one, we have to download Oracle Sample Schema from GitHub website go for this link i'm going to put these links on the description of this video for you click on the link locate the source code click for download click here then the download download will be started after that you have to to copy this file this file is already compressed so you have to copy it and paste it on your desktop now the step number one has been completed and step number two we have to move these files to demo dash schema on oracle home folder in my case it is in in the c drive are going to open the C then go to the Oracle home this one and you'll find here the demo demo folder open this folder and this schema folder is a default one which you downloaded from Oracle by default we have to take a backup from this one I'm taking backup for this by making it underscore old and now we have to move the downloaded file to this location go for the file downloaded file control plus a to select all then co copy all the included file and go back for the oracle home and create a new folder and name it schema then you have to paste all the copied file to this destination okay now we have completed this step and step number three, three we have to edit some oracle sql files to correct the path the first one we are going to edit is mk sample.sql file on the same location right click and select edit with not plus plus then you have to to locate this dummy location on our case it is underscore sub underscore cwd this one is not helpful not correct copy this one this path and press ctrl f then replace paste what you have copied to your, your clipboard then go back to the path copy it which point to mk sample copy it and go back to and paste it on replace with replace all 11 lines has been changed more changes we need to add to this file by changing this sign to the opposite, opposite direction to match the operating system of windows actually this one this default one is related to linux and unix systems so we have to change it for all the lines go one by one we have to be sure that all the signs has been changed to the, the correct direction after completing this file you can save and close and move to the next file to be updated which is bi underscore main repeat the same process for the file by replacing this dummy path 
and edit this sign to the other direction next file is hr underscore main we have to do the same right click and then put this one and repeat this process again until all the files is completed in this case we have to update ix underscore main dot sql on the order entry folder we have to update the oe underscore main dot sql again if you are not seeing the main file just put it on the search then it will be shown find other place update all of these signs for all the file then save for your file and move to the next one on the product media folder we have to update the pm underscore main now three lines have been updated correct all the passes and save again salary history folder locate the file sh underscore main dot sql and repeat the same process again now we have only one file remaining to complete the editing phase you go to shipping and this file is qs underscore main dot sql update it and save then this step will be completed And now step number four, we have to connect to the SQL plus using the sysadmin username. Open the window button and type the SQL plus. Then type your sysadmin password, username and password. Now we have connected to our database with says username now step number five we have to run this command alter session set oracle underscore script equal true i'm going to put this line also in the description of this video for you to copy and paste direct to your session right click enter then our session will be altered now we have completed this step and step number six execute the mk sample file and here is the syntax we have to put at 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 the beginning then put the location for mk sample file followed by some parameters like sys password and system password followed by the hr oe pm ix shbi users password then the default table space which is users on our case then the temporary table space which is temp and provide the temp locations and then the connection string for your database follow this step copy and paste and press enter then the process of creating these sample schemas will be started you have to wait around two or three minutes for this process to be completed if you are facing any cha challenges while running this step you can check for the connection string be sure that it is correct and you type it correct in your line also be sure that uh, the system user is not locked because sometimes it is locked on your database now you are going to check for the output of this setup of installing schemas go for the oracle sql developer and now we will start to set up the hr connection
press on the green button on the left side and type HR as a name for this connection and type here the username which is HR the password we have added to the scripts itself if you are not remembering it go back to your line and select this one which is HRPW copy the password and go back again for SQL developer paste it and then select the connection type in our case it is TNS then the database name or the alias and now we have connected to the database open the HR schema and check for the tables the employees tables and the job history tables also you can go for the users and check for all the other created users on the schema itself if you like this video please press like and subscribe and see you on the next video thank you for watching